It's Professor T. How are you today? It is Saturday and I've decided to do an extra video because it's a very hard weekend with COVID-19 here in New York City and in New Jersey. So what I always do when something makes me sad or anxious and COVID-19 does make me sad and anxious, I do art. I go to my drawing. Now, as you can see, I've been working on this and I am inspired by the COVID-19 virus. I'm not sure why I'm drawing it. It's just sort of popping out of my pencil. I let my pencil go. I don't tell it what to do. I just let it go and stay very peaceful while I'm drawing. And this activity helps me a lot to cope with stress. So that's why I'm here today, to help you cope. You might know somebody who has COVID-19 or somebody who's passed from COVID-19. I know for me that's true. So it's important to find ways to cope that are healthy, right? So I'm gonna have you making a book today and I'm going to show you a very special pet of mine and that's why I have my gloves on. I know these gloves are good for COVID-19, but I also have to use these gloves for my pet, who I'll show you in a minute. But in the meantime, remember, yesterday I read to you Harold and the Purple Crayon. So I started thinking about an activity we could do after reading the book. Now I'm going to show you, I know you are going to love this little pet. Oh, Speckles. Hey Speckles, you're on camera. I've had Speckles for 25 years and she's my love, but I have to wear gloves when I touch her because some turtles carry salmonella. So she doesn't like being held as you can see, but you see how pretty she is. I'm gonna put her down right now. I know baby, you don't like that. You don't like that. She doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> She's scurrying away. But Speckles is going to be the character for my book. I started thinking, how will I draw Speckles? And how will I make a book about her? Because in Harold and the Purple Crayon, there's a character, right? What's the character's name? Now I'm taking off my gloves. Harold is the character and Harold goes on adventures. So I was thinking in my book, Speckles could be the character. Now that's not a very good drawing, but anything can start. Maybe Speckles can be my character and Speckles will go on an adventure. So I'm gonna spell her name on the bottom so you can see it. Speckles. She used to be in a first grade class, and when that was at least 25 years ago, in Red Hook, Brooklyn, the teacher gave it to my sons and I because she had nobody to take care of speckles during the summer. And then my science teacher said, keep her. So I'm really glad we kept her. Speckles has seen a lot. Now, I thought maybe a very simple book could be an accordion book. Do you know why the word, excuse me, do you know why we call it an accordion book? I'm sure you can figure out. It looks like an accordion. So the accordion book can have many shapes and sizes, but I'm just gonna show you a shape and size from a single sheet of printing paper. I'm gonna cut speckles, but that's okay because I'm gonna draw her again. So we cut the paper in half. Oh, she's coming over here. Hey baby, where you wanna go? She's never been up here in my living room, so I think she's confused. So you see I have two. Now I'm gonna fold one in half like this. Hamburger fold. And then, this is the tricky part. Face, wait a minute, oh wait a minute. 
Okay, face the flap like that, the opening like that, and then fold this over to reach. There's one fold, and then the other one's just easy, right? You just fold it this way. And let's see, does that work? Nope. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, you would have the front, the next page, the next page, and the next page. Now, if you made another one, you could attach it so the book is longer. So, look. If I attach here, I'll have a longer book, right? So it depends how much paper you have and how long your story is, but you can keep attaching and have a very long book. Where'd she go? Oh, she's heading for the window. She likes fresh air, and I might take her out to the garden later. But she's going to the window because it's open and she loves fresh air. Okay, now, you see I drew in pink? And I found red. Harold and the purple crayon uses purple. I don't have purple. I don't know if you have purple. You might. But what if you don't have purple? I realized I could do pink or red, right? Speckles and the red crayon. Red marker. Speckles and the pink marker. So, speckles could be any color. Speckles, I have these, I have a black pen here too. You just look for what you have. I have highlighters. Whatever you have will work, doesn't matter. So, here's the front of my book and I would make my title. And I would say, let's see what color. I'm gonna use red because you can see it. Speckles, did you go speckles? Oh, she went very far away. Speckles, now she's got front legs, she's got a big head. I thought that I should draw while, you, I should draw and have you watch me draw. Her legs come out a little bit like this and this. I know she has eyes here and I know she has a mouth. So there's speckles and we could write, and this time I'm going to write in cursive. Speckles, did you ever write in cursive? That's cursive writing, I love that. It's kind of like calligraphy. Speckles and the red marker. That's my front. Now we haven't talked too much about making illustrations, but you know, we don't have to just leave it a line drawing if we don't want. We could color it in, like I could put some beautiful green. Maybe, you know what, she has spots all over her. So maybe we make green like this, right? Where'd she go? Oh, she's walking all over the place. Speckles likes to walk. I live alone, so I don't mind if she walks around my house. But part of the time, she lives in the tub, my bathtub, where she eats. And she poops there too, I have to say. Speckles never does poo-poo on my floor. I always tell people that. Look, I gave her a pink head. So there she is. So you could make colors. Speckles and the red marker. Now, if I used a Sharpie, it goes right through, look. So my first page has to be here. It can't be here. So we could say, let's see, what happened to Harold. Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. So let's see, where could Speckles decide to go for a walk? How about in my backyard? All right. So maybe I want to get, remember our box? I want to get my box so I can draw and show you my drawing. Hmm, where's my tape? Oh, I can even use this. And then it will stay right there. Oops, I lost something down my couch. Remember those little 
spiders we made. Maybe the spider can watch me making the book. Anyway, where's Speckles going to go? Speckles maybe is going to go into my garden. This is a silly upside down tree. The leaves are coming out now. Oh, that almost looks like a ghost. Sorry, I'm doing this upside down. But then Speckles is maybe over here, right? With her head out. Speckles goes for a walk. And maybe I'm always going to make her body green. I don't know. Speckles goes for a walk. And what will happen to her? What will happen? Hmm. Maybe a snake will come out from a, around the tree. So over here we put, oh, by the way, now we can see that it goes through. We go to this page. So Speckles, I think you can see, is going up to the tree and a nasty snake Ew. comes around the corner to see her. Whoa. Here comes that snake. Ooh. So Speckles is down here. And Speckles is like, holy, holy moly. What am I going to do? Holy moly. So if this is a very short book, then it's just three pages. Speckles goes for a walk. Speckles encounters a tree. Now we have to wrap up the story in one page. Speckles, what does she do? She uses her magic pencil, and what does she do? Speckles makes with her magic pencil a shield around her, Woo! a big bubble. So that what? The snake can't touch her. And she can walk around in this bubble forever and be safe. She looks a little bit like a dog there, but you get the idea. So, page one, Speckles goes outdoors. <laughs> I'll show you her again. Page two, ah, there's a snake. Page three, she makes a magic bubble. And this is the end. Speckles. Hey, Speckles. So, you will try that and remember you can if you want oh I see a bug on my couch too I, it's definitely spring there's a lot of things out here you could make a book about a ladybug you could make a book about an ant you could make a book about your pet or a human a book about your mother or your brother or your grandmother or your babysitter so, I know you want to see her one more time, so I have to put my gloves back on because now we made her a character in my book. Speckadoodles! I call her Speckadoodles. Can you imagine she's 25 years old? She was even alive when 9-11 happened, and that was another stressful time. And Speckles helps me to deal with stress. If you have a pet, it's nice because it will help you to deal with some of your stress. Stress is normal right now. We are all stressed about COVID-19. All right, here I go to get her. One second. Hey, baby. Come and see everybody. We're going to put you back in the water. Here she is. Say hi. Hi, baby. A sweetie pie. This is my sweet speckles. Okay, you want to see her upside down. She's not going to like this. She has a beautiful shell. And this way. Now I'll put the poor baby down and I will say bye-bye. See you next time.